Once the tape lights and officers leave a homicide, the body might be gone, but the mess is far from cleaned up. You can catch anything from hair follicles, brain matter, even pieces of skulls. T.J. Reese and Darren Harrison know what to expect. The pair have scrubbed Houston crime scenes over the past two years. Uh, the first time I was like, man, am I really about to do this? Uh, I don't know about this one. Basically, it's like looking at it as a movie, as a horror movie. To show us how it's done, the pair's company, Bio One Houston, created a scene using not blood, but corn syrup. We're really good at sleuthing out those types of splatters and other places, touch points throughout a room where people might have spread the, uh, the blood or other bodily fluids. Bio in Houston cleans homicides and suicides. Visuals aren't the only tough part of the job. Dealing with bodily fluids means employees have to be careful. Crews are covered from head to toe. The materials they work with aren't found on store shelves either. The solution in these bottles are strong enough to kill bloodborne viruses, including HIV and Ebola. In this business, employees do more than just clean crime scenes. They also tackle accidents, sewage spills, and whoring cases. Feces everywhere, everywhere. One bedroom apartment, everywhere. Clearly, it's not a line of work for everyone, but there's a surprising reason why Bio One Houston's owner got involved. We're not coming in to judge. We're not coming in to laugh at them or point fingers or have our jaws drop. We're there to help. He bought the company five months ago but his call for helping with hazardous cleanup started years ago in a mortuary. I realized that pretty quickly, that it was not going to be a problem, and you can't gross me out anymore. Now, he's turned his strong stomach into ownership and profits with branches in Houston and Austin. Cleaning up a scene can cost clients thousands of dollars. The good news, it can be covered by insurance, and there's even financial help for crime victims, and necessary service to wipe away the mess some people leave behind. You get to help people in their worst moments. That's the best part of this job is helping people at their worst.